scientists at CERN just announced an unexpected new discovery. The study of theoretical physics made it necessary to establish an organization to test its postulates. Hence, the Center for European Nuclear Research began in 1954. Since its inception, the organization has helped scientists study the most complex aspects of matter, especially physicists and engineers. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. The study of matter and other particles in the universe needed more equipment to enable scientists to get more accurate data. So the organization began the building of the world's largest collider. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, studies rare particles around us and tests theories about them. What is the LHC? The Large Hadron Collider is the most robust particle accelerator in the world. CERN began the construction of the accelerator in 1998 and finished in 2008. The organization had to collaborate with over 10,000 scientists and more than 100 universities, laboratories, and many countries to make the project a reality. Since it became operational, the LHC remains the largest improvement to CERN's accelerator complex. The accelerator encompasses a 27-kilometer-long ring of superconducting magnets with many accelerating structures to improve the energy of the particles that enter it. Within the accelerator, two high-energy particle beams use the speed of light to travel before they are forced to collide. Typically, the beams travel in opposite directions through distinctive beam pipes kept in an ultra-high vacuum. The tubes are guided around the accelerator ring through a robust magnetic field maintained by a superconducting electromagnet. This electromagnet is built from the coils of electric cables and conducts electricity with high levels of efficiency. Therefore, the magnet's temperature is kept at negative 271 degrees Celsius, making them colder than other spaces. Many magnets of separate sizes direct the particle beams around the collider. Before the particles collide, another set of magnets helps force particle beams closer to boost the chances of collision. It is necessary to force collision since the particles are small to the point they are nearly impossible to detect. Afterward, the beams inside the LHC collide at four locations around the accelerator ring. The CERN Control Center manages all the controls of the Large Hadron Collider and its services and technical support. Where is the LHC located? The accelerator lies in a tunnel built 574 feet below the border between France and Switzerland, which is near the Swiss capital, Geneva. The circumference of the tunnel is 27 kilometers at a depth of approximately 170 meters, the variation was deliberate to lower the number of the tunnel below the Jura Mountains, which solved the problem of excavating a vertical access shaft. CERN built a tunnel to reduce the cost of production because a land surface will be expensive and will impact the landscape in a bad way. Conversely, a tunnel will help shield the accelerator from background radiation since the Earth's crust protects it from such radiation. Why was the LHC shut down? The Large Hadron Collider is crucial to all aspects of CERN operations. However, certain challenges have made workers at CERN shut down the accelerator at some point since it became operational in September 2008. The accelerator was shut down by CERN scientists for the first time in September 2008 to repair a problem in the cooling system. The temperature rose to approximately 100 degrees Celsius in the magnets, which can damage the accelerator because it was meant to operate at a temperature close to absolute zero, negative 271 degrees Celsius. The accelerator restarted in November 2009. Scientists at CERN announced another device shutdown in February 2013 
because of a problem with the design of the superconducting wire, which made the device run at half energy. The device restarted in April 2015. The last shutdown of the LHC happened in December 2018 because of an equipment upgrade. The accelerator restarted in July 2022. Why the fuss about LHC? The LHC is a multi-billion dollar investment. Some people have argued that the money spent on building and maintaining the accelerator should be spent elsewhere. These groups believe money should be spent on global hunger, climate change, and other pressing matters instead of a giant machine with no value to humanity. But why are scientists passionate about the collider? Number one, new, practical, life-changing applications. Researchers at CERN headquarters told reporters the experiments done in the LHC had yielded practical applications. Higher energies provide more information and applying that knowledge will benefit everyone. Technology discovered in particle accelerators helped in certain types of cancer surgery. Also, CERN started using the World Wide Web because it needed a way to share the large data it collected with stakeholders in the scientific community. Number two, advancement of the human race. Every new knowledge about nature provides future generations with a way to survive future challenges. All knowledge available today that helps people survive, including electric power and telecommunications, came from research. The LHC may have yet to impact everyone immediately, but all that can change in a few years. It could bring revolutionary information to fight climate change and treat cancer. Number three, satisfaction of human curiosity. We are constantly searching for answers about the environment. We want to know what is out there and why certain things are how they are now. Scientists want to help us answer these questions which is one reason the LHC was built. It is answering and shedding light on previously unknown areas of physics and engineering. Moving on, CERN has made some unexpected discoveries since the LHC became operational. However, more discoveries are expected because the universe has a way of surprising us. Here are some of the discoveries announced by scientists at CERN. Number 1. The Higgs boson under normal circumstances, humans assume all particles have mass irrespective of size. Things are very different, and our assumptions are wrong. The electroweak theory predicts the existence of a unique set of particles with no mass. The collider reveals that some of these particles have masses. Physicist Peter Higgs, working at the University of Edinburgh, Francois Engler, and Robert Braut independently proposed a special field that carried mass based on how particles interacted with it. The consensus was, if this Higgs field were real, it would have Higgs bosons. The Higgs bosons are force carriers called mediators. But a scientist would require a particle accelerator such as the LHC to discover this unique particle. The existence of the Higgs boson was confirmed in 2013 by scientists at CERN after finding the particle. It had a mass of approximately 126 times 10 to the 11th giga electron. The discovery opened a wide door to new research areas into the cosmos's stability. Number 2. Coordinated Motion While calibrating LHC instruments, scientists deliberately left out the proton-proton collisions and chose to ram protons into lead nuclei. This step created a surprising event. The random pathways that the resulting subatomic shrapnel followed were replaced by apparent coordination. The quark-gluon plasma theory advanced to explain this strange happening. The quark-gluon created an impact that an exotic matter that flowed similar to a liquid and showed coordinated particles when it cooled. The LHC created a quark-gluon plasma, the densest type of matter outside the black hole, by collating heavy ions. Number 3. Tetraquarks Physicists have long established hadrons under two categories based on the quarks 
that made them. Baryons, protons, and neutrons are composed of three quarks, and quark-antiquark -quark pairs form masons, pions, and kaons. However, there are other combinations. The LHC has discovered evidence that supports the existence of such particles, which break or alter the established model for quark arrangements. These particles may have survived for a microsecond after the Big Bang. Number 4. Possible New Physics Since the LHC became operational, scientists have seen regular blows dealt to the standard model by the device. The established theory is called the Standard Model, which describes the behavior of molecules and atoms of matter. Some subatomic matter has received major shakeups because of discoveries made by the LHC. Over the years, the standard model has failed to explain most theoretical physics. An example is a failure to explain the three distinct existence of quarks and leptons, even with almost a replica configuration. The standard model doesn't explain why the cosmos consists of approximately 5% matter and energy, while the rest are thought to have dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter describes matter that experiences gravity, but no other fundamental forces felt in the universe. The LHC has discovered possible theories that explain most of the theories the standard model failed to explain. The discovery of massive particles that interact weakly during the collision analysis inside the LHC brings scientists closer to understanding dark matter and dark energy because it narrows down the areas where the particle may hide. The LHC in July 2022 discovered a new form of the pentaquark, which consists of a charm quark and a charm antiquark. The discovery occurred during the analysis of decays of charged B masons, further demonstration of new possibilities in theoretical physics. Scientific studies carried out by CERN have made unexpected discoveries about our world, and we should expect more stories as the LHC collides with particles. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comment section.